the Norwegian Nobel Committee has decided to award the Nobel Peace Prize for 2023 to Nargis Mohammadi for her fight against the oppression of women in Iran and her fight to promote human rights and freedom for all. Go to the Norwegian capital and speak with Una Turetini. She's the author of the book, Betraying the Nobel, the Secrets and Corruption behind the Nobel Peace Prize. Uh, thank you so much indeed, Una, for joining us. If you don't mind, we we'll discuss what you've written in your book in just a moment, but let's just concentrate on this year's award. Surely there can't be any complaint from anyone, even if they believe there's corruption within the Nobel Committee, about two human rights activists uh, and human rights defenders winning this year's prize. No, absolutely. I think you're right about that. This is a safe prize. This is something that pe the world was outraged by the murder of, um, of Amini last year, the 22-year-old woman in Iran who um, was put in prison by the morality police for um, basically not covering up her hair the way that she was supposed to. And three days later, she was found dead in her cell. And so um, Mohammadi's work is really um, and, and honoring her work and the whole movement of, of, um, of women rights and human rights defenders in Afghanistan and Iran are, are really honoring the, this movement of freedom and human rights, and especially for women, um, for women in that region and in the world in general. So I think this is a, this is a safe price that people will stand behind. Yeah, uh, the award ceremony will be in Oslo on the 10th of December, and it has happened before that recipients haven't been able to travel there to Norway to collect their prizes. And of course, as we're saying on the screen, Mohammadi is currently in prison in Iran. Siraj is living in a country which has really severely restricted the travel for women. Mabuba Siraj fighting for women's rights and human rights in Afghanistan, that takes huge courage. And usually recipients have to show that kind of courage to push for democratic reforms and for inclusivity. That's correct. It takes a humongous courage. And I think this is, although the committee chair uh, was very clear about, they do not predict or want to speak about the effects and the impact that the price will have on the lives of these women, um, also because they're trying to protect themselves from um, criticism of what happens in the lives of these um, recipients uh, in the years to come. Uh, however, it is um, now where, where the world's attention is on these women, and it will be harder for the governments in those countries to um, to continue the punishment, and perhaps it will save their lives. So, Oni, tell us what the problem is with the Nobel Peace Prize. And I'll just give you three names, and I'm sure you've discussed them endlessly over the years. Aung San Suu Kyi in Myanmar, Barack Obama, former president of the United States, Abiy Ahmed, prime minister of Ethiopia. Many people say, how did they win those? Absolutely. And rightly, the criticism is, is, is spot on. We, what we have seen, and especially um, in, the, in the recent years, is that there's, the Nobel Peace Prize has become politicized. And there are three problems, as I see it, with the Nobel Peace Prize. First of all, the secrecy behind the process and the selection of these winners. How are they actually, what, what do the committee base their decision on? We really don't know because nothing of that process is uh, revealed to the people. And the second thing is the, the, that the committee, the five members of the committee are uh, mostly politicians, former politicians. Now, the, the, the Norwegian parliament has made an effort in the last couple of years to select members of the committee that are not former politicians, but we still have a majority of the committee that are proven to be very loyal to their political party and has been given that job as a committee member, as a pat on the back for a loyal service to the government. So we still see um, decisions and selections, uh, for example, Barack Obama, who was uh, announced the winner of the prize when he hadn't even started doing any of the work that the committee claimed that he had done. Okay. And he himself was embarrassed to receive the prize, and he said so um, in, his, in his speech. 
Uni, thank you so much indeed for joining us. Really, your expertise has helped us to understand the overall picture regarding the Nobel Peace Prize, regardless of who has won it today in the year 2023. Uni Teretini, thank you very much indeed.